once in a while, I have a tendency to think random different details on random different topics that kind of just pop into my head in the middle of the day. Today I'm going to be talking about one of those topics, which is how people respond to dreams at times. In fact, such shed a little bit of light on me for this. Um, it's an interesting topic in my opinion, just due to the fact that, I mean, it, 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 people over-exaggerate dreams into what they feel like is their own personal reality all the time because of a particular phrase that exists. Specifically the phrase being, my dream is to blank. And because of that phrase, when somebody starts talking about a literal dream, their brain immediately goes to the metaphor. Uh, let me use an example of this. Um, so say you're married, or engaged, or you're in a relationship, and you have a random dream, or about a random different individual that you maybe met twice. And you tell your significant other about this dream. Suddenly, said significant other starts questioning you and think you want to like just you want to do things with that person. You want you, you want to bail on the relationship for that. What if you've never even met the person before? And it's just you know a dream about some random other individual that you know was I don't know in a movie you last saw. Bear in mind, everything I'm talking about is super hypothetical. If it just so happens to line up with something that's going on on whoever sees this end, then that's just pure coincidence. Um, under these fronts, this is kind of what I'm referring to, though. People have a tendency to take dreams and make them and look at them as if they're actually happening IRL. And it's honestly kind of sad. It's honestly, I mean, it doesn't make much sense to do that. I mean, a lot of people do it anyway. I guess it's like a fear or something. This is kind of just me going off on a tangent on the matter in a way, but it never really made much sense to me. In a way, it was just kind of a odd, it was an odd thing to think about. But when it came down to it, whenever somebody, I don't have dreams often, actually. Most of the time when I fall asleep, it's just blackness, nothing. And um, when I do, it's usually something stupidly obscure. Like a rhinoceros chasing me literally up the walls and running across the ceiling with me running across the ceiling in front of it. Like, literally. And I, this actually was a dream I had at a point. Super obscure, didn't make any sense, but was kind of funny to think back on. It, never, it was rare where it was ever like something serious. That being said, though, and well, I mean, maybe that I, I don't know if that would be the reason why this kind of thing happens to me, or if it's just because of how my brain works. Most likely, it's the second thing. But I don't know what it is, but for some strange reason, someone will dream up something, talk about it and then get questioned about it randomly just because they had a literal dream about the something. It never has made sense to me. I've, this has been something that's gotten in my head multiple times before. But it literally, that's all it is. It's a literal dream. Sure, fine, maybe. If the person talks about it, but they talk about it in a way where it's like, they desire what they're talking about, then maybe question it. 
But if the person is literally just explaining, hey, I had a dream about this, it was really strange, or something like that, that's literally all it was. A physical, uncontrollable, mind you, dream. If somebody has... That's another factor I think a lot of people miss when it comes to questioning those who have dreams, like actual literal dreams. They have a tendency to space out the fact that these are not exactly... It's not like you go to sleep and you turn on a switch and then type into some kind of computer, have dream about blank. I don't know. In my case, we'll pull this out since it's right in front of me. Have dream about Mountain Dew, and then I plop, I fall asleep, and suddenly I'm like bathing in a giant can of Mountain Dew. That's not how dreams work. The only, I mean, there is one exception to this, but even then, it's very rare. The one exception is when you fall asleep and you're thinking about a topic, not a specific pronoun now or noun, a topic in general. You'll very rare this. It's stupidly rare when this happens, but you'll have a tendency to fall asleep under this rarity, and your your dream will be about the last thing you thought about, or the last topic, I should say. For example, say before falling asleep, I was thinking about hanging out with a group of friends at a theme park. Most likely, when I fall asleep after thinking about that, I'm most likely going to have a random dream about the theme park. Not the group of friends, the theme park. Yeah. That's why I say it's not com it's not common at all. But and every now and then sure that dream will involve like an item or a person more in detail, but even th with how rare that thought process transfer to dream is, it's even more rare when it's a detailed factor of those. Like I said before, it's not like when somebody falls asleep, they're like typing in dream about blank, and then that certain thing suddenly is their dream. I mean, sure, it's true that human human bodies, the brain, is compared to a computer a lot of the time, um, but that doesn't mean we're actual computers. But why am I bringing this up? Well, or all these details at least. Well, the reason for this is because this is how a lot of people approach dreams. They treat dreams that others have as if they are in full control of what the dream actually is. When in reality, there is no control whatsoever. In fact, there is so little control that, fun fact for those who don't know, prior to televisions having color, before that, people's dreams used to be 100% black and white literally all the time. For every single person. Why this is, I don't know. But what I do know is that, ironically, at the exact same time colored television started existing, people's dreams became color filled. This is actually the perfect example of what I'm referring to when I say people don't have control over what their dreams are. Because if they did, color dreams would have existed centuries before color television. Apparently, according to research, they didn't. Now, these this research could just have been selective and very, very coincidental on the people it selected, but I highly doubt it given that they, they uh, e e each different, um, study on dreams all it was done on like if i remember correctly it was over 100 individuals people have way too much time on their hands <laughs> but with that being said that's the perfect example of what i mean by people don't have control over this and people are treated yet there's yet they're still treated as if 
they have complete control of what the dream they have was planned, was plotted out maliciously. But it's not. There are several people on the planet who you'll talk to. You, you know, I had a dream about blank. Let's go to this topic instead, since we haven't hit yet. I had a dream of bl about blank individual. <gasps> what? You started dreaming about them? That would be the literal response. And any t I've seen this happen before, to me and to others, and immediately my brain would go to, you are so stupid. It's not like they decided to have that dream. But that's just how people are treated. It doesn't make sense. It's not realistic. Now, I'm not venting. Bear in mind, I am not venting. I don't have this happen to me. I have had random scattered dreams. When I do have dreams, because most of the time it's just black and white. But when I do, it's always seems to pinpoint random specific individuals, and I always talk about them when I do. Pink Fox has never once questioned it. Because she's smart enough to know, oh, well, it's a dream. He has no control. It's just something that happened that randomly went to his head while he was dead asleep. It's not like it happened, IRL, or it's going to happen, because it doesn't make sense to. And I've done the same thing for her. She's told me dreams randomly that she's had about sometimes they're exes, sometimes they're people that she keeps communication with now. And sometimes they're me, sometimes they're just obscure, random topics that have nothing to do with people whatsoever. I have no reason to get upset about it. Sure, one of the reasons is that I trust her, but the main, that's one of the main reasons. But aligned with that, equivalently as made of a reason, it's just due to the fact that that is literally all it is. A dream. It's a physical thing that you can't control because it's... Sure, it's in your subconscious, but when your subconscious is as scattered as a lot of people from this generation, it doesn't make sense to question what they dream, dreamed, dreamed, dream, dream isn't a word. Anyway, it didn't make, it doesn't make sense to question what someone dreams about when their brain scatteredly throwing to different topics. Like one moment, for example, almost anybody nowadays. They could be talking about, they could be thinking about, you know, the fact that they went grocery shopping and a random individual decided to pull a prank on them three hours later. And then they'll randomly think about the fact that their job that night was just crap. And then randomly they'll start thinking about, oh, I had Pop-Tarts for breakfast. And then they fall asleep and suddenly they're having a dream about eating a Pop-Tart with a coworker. So? That means nothing. But apparently to a lot of people out there, that means you're cheating. No, it doesn't. It just means scattered parts of things that were thought about throughout the day were selected and mashed together into... Something that you see overnight while you're dead asleep. That's it. So I don't understand why others have to get so intimately into wondering why someone's having a dream that's completely obscure. Like a better example that's a bit more symbolic is that of Oh, let me see. Hmm. There were a couple of commonly put, like commonly known dreams that have a lot of symbolism that I had to look up for this. And quite frankly, a lot of none of the ones that I looked up were meant for kids. So, if you have any kids around and you're watching this, uh, you might want to put your buds in, pause the video, put your buds in, or just make sure they're not listening. You good? Cool. So the example that I'm going to present 
It's not one... Oh, I had it once. It was years ago. But the example is that of getting intimate with a sibling. Does this mean that you're suddenly wanting to hit it off with a sibling of yours? No! What it means, it actually does have symbolism. It means that you look up to the person. Not what... This is a perfect example of what I'm referring to. Okay, now that I said this, if you had to... Get, get the... If you had to hide what was just said, you don't. You, you can remove that if you want. Anyway, what, th this kind of symbolism is very important. It's something a lot of people overlook. And it's very upsetting. Because simple symbolism like that can go a long way. It can mean a lot. And that symbolism... The, the fact that people have a tendency to overlook it and overthink it and immediately go to the literality and think that just because a dream happens, it becomes a reality. They're not thinking at all. They're not considering the details of what reality actually is. Dream therapy, for example, it's, there's a reason it's un as uncommon as it is. It's not uncommon, but compared to other therapies, it's... I'd say it's probably the least known. It's still known, very well known, but it's the least known of all of them. It's just because nobody seems to think about what's going on in their dreams. They just grasp it and bypass it. Or they'll grasp it and hold on for dear life because they want to know exactly what's going on IRL because it must have be happening IRL if you dream about, dreamed about it. Bullcrap. Just because you dream about it doesn't mean it's IRL. I don't know. Say you had a dream about, in your dream, you got a new job at a very high paying company. If you work a fast food restaurant, that doesn't mean you're getting that job. It's a dream. It is, maybe, it's, it's a note of your subconscious Either giving you a hint or saying, hey, you're going to be successful. Stop. That's literally it. So people out there who have a tendency to take dreams and go, okay, what's going on? Stop. You're not getting anywhere by doing that. You might lose something by doing it, but you won't get anywhere else other than that. Anyways, I don't know. These are my thoughts on it. People have a tendency, as you can tell, given the fact that I spent almost 20 minutes talking about this, you could probably tell that people, there are a lot of people in this world who have a tendency to look at a dream and take it way too seriously. Have you guys ha ever had experiences like that before? Where you've told someone a, a, like a literal dream that you've had and they go ballistic about it? If so, why not let us know in the comments below your experiences if you'd like. If you don't want to do that, that's fine. It's If it seems too personal, don't worry about it. Um, however, one way or the other, if you like this kind of stuff, why not give a video a like and consider subbing to the channel uh, where we do a lot of discussion and rant type videos like this. I guess this time you can consider a discussion or a rant. Speaking of, we've got plenty of those. If you want to check out any of the others done, uh, click the link on the side of my head here, where I'm pretty sure at this point you'll find about 270 plus of them. Um, if this doesn't quite fill your boat, but for some strange reason, reason you're still here, why not click the link on the other side? Maybe you'll be rewarded with something you might enjoy a bit more. In the meantime, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for tuning into this video, everyone, and we hope to catch you guys in another one. See you guys later.